All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this next podcast is just going to be a kind of a uh, one-man shoot. I got to address the current state of TNA. I'm not happy. I'll be honest with you. This is Peck. Um, just various things that I've noticed about the booking, about the company. It's got to stop. It's got to change. Number one, roster decisions that they made. Uh, recently, Rob Van Dam's contract was allowed to expire. Instead of re-signing him, who do they pay? Sanjay Dutt. Yeah, because the people really are going to buy Sanjay Dutt merchandise. Like, the guy even has a t-shirt. Uh, a lot of the booking decisions they made have just been awful. The Aces and Eights thing is something that should have been done during the summer and the something big like Don for Glory. Instead, it's been dragged out for God knows how long. I'm okay with Bully Ray as a world champion, but they have got to do something about the scale of the company. I mean, they were really looking like a small, second-rate little company. It was bad enough they were operating out of Universal Studios. But the small pay-per-view crowds, everything like that, it's just gotten to a point where it's sad. You know, I don't want to watch uh, Lockdown last year and have it be in front of, you know, 3,000 people. Do something better. Hogan's killing the company. The booking, it makes no sense. It's really gotten to a point... You know, it's simple things like an independent wrestling federation can understand, like continuity. I watched the show a couple of weeks ago. Matt Morgan comes out, takes out Joseph Park, says, Hey, watch what I do next week on the show. I tune in. He doesn't even show up. I don't know if no one informed him that he was supposed to be on the show. He forgot what he said in his promo. Or they just forgot to book him. It's stuff like that. It's the little things that doesn't make me take them seriously. I don't really know where they're going to go. It seems like they're making progress, but as soon as they do, something else comes up, and it just gets derailed. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. They really have got to rehaul some things. Gut check needs to go. It looks completely unprofessional that you need to have an American Idol-style competition for wrestling, and it's usually the guy that always loses. And then you leave it to the fans and three judges. Instead of just having somebody debut, you know, build up, work a couple of matches, win a few matches against, you know, some joggers or mid-carters and work your way up. You don't have that. You just have two relative unknowns going at it in a match with very little personal information about either of them. A lot of times, you know, they give them a different name and you have no idea who these people are. It just makes it look unprofessional, like they don't know how to sign talent, like they don't know how to evaluate talent, like they don't scout. And it just looks like a joke. You know, I mean, it's getting bad. I'm starting to lose interest. And you know, as bad as the product in WWE is, you look at the ability to pull something off in the grand stage, and you realize something like The Undertaker's entrance costs more than the entire TNA pay-per-view. And it's just sad. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to keep watching it, but eventually there will be a breaking point. And if they don't make changes quick, you got to watch something else. I'm Peck. That's it.